Good evening and welcome to Blackburn and Seafield Church and to this special Christingle service. Later on tonight we also have a watch night service starting at quarter past 11 again on YouTube and Facebook. And tomorrow morning we have a service here in the church at 10 o'clock in the morning where you can bring your toys along to let us see. A Christingle service is held in churches sometime between Advent and Christmas Eve. It's a great opportunity for everyone to come together using oranges to create a symbol of the Christian message. The Christingle service is started in a Moravian church held in a castle in Germany on Christmas Eve in 1747. The bishop leading the service gave each child a lighted candle, tied it with a red ribbon in memory of Jesus' coming, which she said had kindled a flame in each heart that keeps burning to his joy and our happiness. Christingel is a, word of Ge a German word which means Christ child, and it is used to celebrate Jesus Christ as the light of the world. As the birth of baby Jesus draws near, we remember the peace, the hope, the joy and love that Jesus wants to share with us. As a tiny baby born in Bethlehem, he comes to save the world and to let us know how much God loves us. We begin our service by singing hymn 47, Away in a Manger. Long ago, when things began, God made our world. He made the sun to, to light the day. He made the moon and the stars for the night. He made the sky and land and sea. He made birds fly in the sky, fish to swim in the sea, and animals for the land. God looked around at all that he had made, and he was pleased. It was very good. The world was ready for people. So God made a man and a woman, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were very happy. I wonder what this story has to do with Christingle. Well, the orange is round like the world. 
so the orange represents the world. John writes in the Bible that Jesus was in the world and though the world was made through him, some people in the world didn't know him. He came to ministers and rabbis, but they didn't know him and they didn't welcome him into the world. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for our wonderful world, the sky, the sea, the land, the sun and moon and stars, day and night. We thank you for the many wonderful animals and plants, and most of all, we thank you for us, for mums and dads, brothers and sisters, grands and grandpas, aunts and uncles, people to care and love us, and hear us as we say together the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We're now going to sing another song. He's got the whole world in his hands. Stingle just over here. Can you tell me how many um, sticks are in the orange? If we count them, there's one, two, three, and four. Now, each of these four slides, four cocktail sticks, represents the four seasons. And if we go to the first one, the first season of the year is spring and we can see that there's a wee boy here watering a plant and things are starting to grow in the spring and after spring comes summer and we can see here's a wee boy and he's on the beach and the sun shines hopefully during the summer as well and after summer comes autumn and during the autumn the leaves fall off the trees and there sometimes is a lot of rain and then the next season after that is winter, which is where we are just now. And sometimes um, the snow falls and we're able to um, build a snowman. These four cocktail sticks also remind us that Jesus, um, when Jesus died, that he sent his disciples to the four corners of the world to tell everyone about Jesus and how much God loves everyone. 
also reminds us of the fruit of the Spirit, the gifts Jesus gives to each of us. And these gifts are joy, love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And so we put our four cocktail sticks into our orange. And what we do is we choose four sweets that we like. I like Jelly Baby, so that's the first one that goes on for me. And then I've put on a piece of fruit, and for me, I like grapes as well. And then on the top, I'm going to put a gummy bear. And what we then do is we put these um, four different fruits in our orange to represent the four corners of the world and represents the fruits, the gifts that God gives us through Jesus. I wonder what you can see on the screen now. Well, the thing that stands out for me is that it's a manger. And a manger is where animals eat out of sheep and cows and horses, and there's plenty straw in there. But if you look even more closely, we can see something else. The manger that baby Jesus was laid in when he was born also has something, a shadow in it. And can you see the cross, the shadow of the cross in the manger? That reminds us of the blood that Jesus shed for us when he died on the cross. But that wasn't the end. He came back to life to live with us forever. So now what we do to represent Jesus dying and his blood is we put a red ribbon, or you can put a piece of red tape round about your orange and perhaps stick it with a pin or a piece of um, sellotape. Sometimes it's quite difficult to get it in. We're now going to sing our next hymn, See Him Lying on a Bed of Straw. In John 8, 12, we read, When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Before Jesus came to earth, lots of people weren't very nice to one another. Jesus came to shine his light into all the dark places of the world, to tell people how much he loved and cared for them. So Jesus' light shines in the world and the darkness has never been able to put it out. We need to let our light shine for Jesus because God so loved the world that he gave us his son, Jesus, to be our saviour. So we're to our Christingle now. What we do is we get a candle and this is a birthday candle and we put the candle in the top 
of our Christingle. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this Christingle to help us remember that you made the world and everything in it, that you care for us and make sure that we have enough to eat and have nice things like sweets too. We thank you that you came to earth to show us how much you love us by loving others and by dying for us. We think of all those people who don't have love in their lives, those who are sad and lonely this Christmas. We pray for those who don't have much food this Christmas and ask that others will share what they have to help them. We pray for all those who are ill this Christmas, whether at home or in hospital. And Lord, we ask that you would reach out with your healing touch on them. We pray for those who live in darkness and ask that your light would shine in their lives. We pray for our family and friends and hope that we will have a lovely Christmas and remember to share our love with all those that we meet, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. So we light our Christingle candle knowing that Jesus is the light of our world. I'd like to read you a Christingle or the Christingle poem. If the orange is the world and the candle is the light, then we know Jesus is with us every day and every night. If the sweets are the season and gifts given by him, then we know to always thank God, to cheer and clap and sing. If the ribbon is Jesus' blood, his love wrapped all around us, then no one needs to feel lonely. He'll catch us when we fall. This is the Christingle, a service full of fun, caring and praying for little children, for God loves us, everyone. We now sing our final hymn, Come and Join the Celebration. We thank you, Lord God, for loving us so much that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, into our world to save us all. May your love, joy, peace and hope live in our hearts tonight and always. Amen. I hope you enjoy making your Christingle. And if you've got any photographs of it, will you please send them to me so that I can see your Christingle as well. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. God bless. Bye.